Greetings, internet. I am still Lady, and I am still talking about toys. Today I have a doll who is... I was going to say that she was strange. She is, she's strange in many respects. She's strange in that she doesn't doesn't do a lot of things that that dolls do for people. Um, well, you'll see. Let's just let's just do this. Uh, so this is Circe. She is out of focus. There she is. She is a little Apple doll. I got her in 2004 or 2005 ish. She was from the first run of the little Apple dolls. There were a couple different series of these, and then they had some trouble. They were discontinued, but not before being produced independently by the artist who makes them all. It was this whole complicated thing, and now they're all like obscenely difficult to find for a human being price um, on the secondhand market, as is the case with a lot of things that are older than a few years old. Um, but I've got three little Apple dolls, one Comic-Con exclusive and another one from Circe's original crew. Um, they made several after that and I was just not as enchanted with them as as I was like the first run. They just didn't seem different enough to me. Um, since then there have been some that I would like to pick up but the aforementioned human prices thing is making it difficult. Anyways, Circe is kind of unusual for me and that she is like emphatically like on a child body. Um, I just, I don't like collecting dolls of children. There's, there's something uncomfortable in that for me. And it's kind of hard to tell. Can I get her dress up high enough for this? Well, I mean, she's, check out her striped tights. Um, I'm always a big fan of like real tights. None of this like painted on nonsense. Uh, you can't even see them normally, which I think is great. Her sleeves kind of the same thing going on. It's like this nasty, crunchy, plasticky fabric. But if you do this for long enough... There's a hole in the end, and she does have hands. She came with a storybook and some other bits and bobs, but the, the important part is Circe herself. She actually, I'm trying to trying to be a creeper and poke under her dress, but I don't want to get super complicated. But yep, there's a snap back here. And she's actually wearing a shirt under this dress, so you could have her dressed entirely like, like Beetlejuice or a referee if you wanted. There's, there's a shirt under there. So she's also barely holding on to that apple, which all the little apple dolls come with. Imagine that. Quite put these snaps back together so she's somewhat presentable. Go, seriously, go. I picked her up because, like, she... She really just struck me. Um, I really like combinations of things that are, like, both beautiful and terrifying. And, like, strange little soulless-eyed girl with stripes and shit. Like, that, that's my jam. So this apple is, uh, it's like everybody's friend in the underworld kind of zone that Circe is from. Um, you put the pins in yourself, they all come in a little bag. Um, it's just a, it's a piece of foam. I have it pinned to Circe's sleeve because uh, she's supposed to be able to hold it, but because of her sleeve, it's it's complicated. See, it just zips right up there with her. This hand is coming. Yeah, this hand she can hold out like she's cupping something, um, and the apple is supposed to sit in there nicely. And if she doesn't have a giant sleeve over her arm, then it does. But without it, it's a little it's a little iffy whether or not she'll hold on to that thing. Plus, just, like, people walking even a little bit heavily past where she's sitting, like, the damn thing comes off. So, that's that's the deal with that. Um, she's decently, I mean, she's kind of, like, articulated in the most basic sense of, like, her head goes, her arms go, and her legs also, but her dress is somewhat constricting, so she has trouble going much further. I can maybe get her to sit down, but it's not going to be an attractive sit. There we go. This is the sitting. But I suppose that's appropriately, like, ragdoll-ish. So she could sit like that and it would be okay. I actually, I got this doll, um, and then my roommate picked her up, or maybe it was the other way around, but I, I got her in college, 
and she wasn't, I don't think she was the first one that I got. Uh, but my, my roommate was obsessed with her and was saying, oh my God, she's so cute. And I, I thought cute was like a, a vastly incorrect word for how I felt about her. I thought these shoes came off and I'm pretty sure they do. Let's see if we can struggle with that, shall we? You might just have to trust me. It feels like there's a snap almost. I'm just swinging this apple around like nobody's business. Yeah, we're just gonna assume that they come off. I remember seeing her like in stocking feet on my roommate's bed. And that's why I even started saying this because like seeing her sit like this was how my roommate had her stashed on her bed and mine was standing up on our dresser or something. But I have, <laughs> I've been really fond of these since they came out and I, the funny thing to me is I think I've lost the ability to see certain things as creepy anymore. So, like, I have them and just think they're these gorgeous things and there are other people who come to my house and they're like, could you, that that thing is staring at me. Or maybe it is, like, there are people who are deeply unnerved by my eyeless dolls that just stare at people from the shelf. But yeah, that's that's pretty much where we are. I just came home and saw her and... I felt like talking about her. It's it's not so much a review. It's just look at this look at this doll. Isn't she fabulous? I I love this thing. I mean, I wish that the rest of the series were more affordable now because I would love to pick up more. And there was definitely a time when they were like a cool thing enough that they got Comic Con exclusive releases, um, which is one of the things I have that. Like, I would love for there to be more of them. I would love for that to continue being a thing. But I, I think the artist is either making super limited editions that I'll never have a chance of picking up even when they're current, or has moved on to other things. But at least, at least I have Circe. There you go. Please enjoy my scary doll of the day. And I'll see you next time I decide to do this. <laughs>